Question number three. How do you view the relationship between county law enforcement and immigration and customs enforcement, ICE? What, if anything, would you change about the current relationship? Mr. Myers, you have 90 seconds to respond. Congress has identified and empowered ICE as a federal law enforcement agency. And there's federal requirements that all law enforcement cooperate with federal law enforcement agencies. State law uh, prohibits some of that cooperation specific to ICE. In other words, uh, the practice of, of holding somebody in our facility on a detainer so that they can be picked up by ICE is a violation of state law. We are still able to provide public safety and manage both of these requirements. It's really something that needs to be addressed at the congressional level, and I hope that it someday is. There's tragedies on both sides of immigration. Many people have suffered and our responsibility at the sheriff's office is to provide public safety and enforce state law, regardless of immigration status, regardless of who or where people come from. We support everybody and we protect everybody. Again, we'll continue to enforce state law and do the best that we can to support our federal partners. Thank you. Question number three. How do you view the relationship between county law enforcement and immigration and customs enforcement, ICE? What, if anything, would you change about the current relationship? Mr. Olson, you have 90 seconds to, to reply. Well, I, I think it's really important that uh, we have an obligation to respect all the judicial uh, uh, agencies and judicial processes, including uh, ICE. And um, I really think it's important that, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to refer to my notes here I have on this as well. Um, but I, I think we always need to, uh, we need to honor and uh, uh, protect the officer in the field, but we also need to continue to honor and protect the civil rights of every person uh, uh, that we contact. Um, so, the, any contracts that are in place in the jail, I think they need to remain in place. I do know one of the contracts uh, for the county jail is going to uh, expire next year. And at that point, it will not be renewed. Um, and and that's, for, that's for housing certain inmates. Uh, but uh, any, any person, um, as far as ICE goes, uh, ICE's uh, main concern is with the people uh, that may be undocumented in this uh, country and committing crimes. And that, that is one of the things I'm very, uh, I'm very passionate about is that if you're committing a crime, you need to be held accountable. And at that point, if it's a criminal act of some sort and it meets ICE's requirements, then we would support ICE and what they need to do to, to do their job. Thank you.